In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the GlideGear TMP750 teleprompter with your computer so that you can read a script while looking into your webcam. Now, the TMP750 is the pro model, and it's really designed to be used with really big professional size cameras, but I've got to work around to make it work with a webcam so that you can read your script on this nice big teleprompter. So I'm a big fan of using teleprompters like this on Zoom calls so you can look the other person in the eye instead of reading the script. So there'll be another video in one of the corners about that too. But in this video, we're talking solely about using a software called SpeakFlow, which is my favorite tele teleprompter software for a computer, and the TMP750. I've got it set up here on my desk with a Vanguard tripod, and I'm using a 15-inch portable monitor. So there'll be links to all of this stuff down below and also a link if you want to set up a consulting call with me if you have any questions about how to set this up and get it all running just perfect for you. So the idea behind the teleprompter is that there's a one-way mirror at a 45 degree angle. There is a monitor in front that's bouncing the image on that screen and the camera is mounted behind here behind the glass so that you're reading the line that is right in front of the camera. This teleprompter is big and it's really designed to be used at, you know, 10 or 15 feet away from the, from the camera. So one thing to note is you don't want to use up all that screen real estate for your lines if you're sitting really close to the camera. So if you were to read from edge to edge, you'd be able to see your eyes moving back and forth because the screen's so big. So you're going to want to use just the middle, but that's that's perfectly possible using SpeakFlow. So let me show you here on my computer. I'm just going to pull up this recent video. I actually did a video about the TMP500, which is a less expensive and smaller option. So that that is an option too. I'll have a link to that video in one of the corners and at the end of this one. So. I have logged into SpeakFlow and I'm going to open one of the scripts and you can see here that it is going from edge to edge. I had this set up where I was like 20, 25 feet away and wanted to see if I could read this. So I had it set up to use the entire teleprompter. The distance from the teleprompter really matters. If you're close, you need the script to be more narrow. And if you're far away, you can have it be more wide. Across the top here, you can change these and they will change how wide across your screen this is. And then you can use here to change the size of the text and just find a, a size that's comfortable for you. You'll notice on the screen here that it is the right direction. It is not reversed. However, because I'm reading it in a mirror over here, it is reversed. I can't read this. It's really hard to, to read. So the beauty is when you get ready to actually play this, you can set a setting. Let me show you where that setting is. There's a number of settings down here. So you'll go to flip here. So you can see it's now reversed on the image that you're seeing, but on the image that I'm seeing in the mirror, it is perfect. And then you can just move this around to line up the text with the camera and the camera you can see behind because usually there's a little dot or something you can kind of see it behind if you open up some light behind you'll be able to see the camera and then you can line up your screen with that camera so i think here actually i need to go into settings and reduce put this closer to the top of the page there we go so that it'll line up with the camera and then move this kind of around and then I will be able to read. Now I'm just going to start this just so you see how SpeakFlow works. There's a number of different options. A couple of things that I really like about it. There is an option here where you can say if you want to manually scroll. In other words, you're like pushing the, the down arrow. If you want to manually do that. If you want it to move at a constant pace. Those are pretty common. But this is really good at recognizing your voice if you're speaking English at least. So if you speak English and you're reading this, it's going to move the lines accordingly. And that's what's called flow. The other option that it has that's really nice is this option called overlay. And what this does is it allows you to display the text on top of something else. So perhaps you're on a Zoom meeting and you want to be reading from a teleprompter, you can put the Zoom meeting behind the text. So that's super helpful too. But 
I'm just going to cover how this works. You'll push start and it's going to start. You'll see that it's listening and then I just need to read the script. Oh no, the Caddy Buddy teleprompter has been discontinued, but don't worry, I have a really great alternative for you. So you can see as it hears me speaking, it's moving the text along the screen. So one slightly complicating factor is that this, the TMP750 is designed for a very big camera, a very big video camera. So what I've done is you can see here, I'm using what's called a magic arm to be able to move the webcam forward and closer and higher up on the screen. So that is a really great tool. Once again, all the links will be down below and also there'll be a blog post you can go to. Might be a little easier to follow along on that blog post. But if you have any questions, let me know down below or set up a consulting time with me. And I hope that these other videos on the screen now are equally helpful. Thanks for watching.